Hey everybody, what up? In this video, I want to um, ask the audience, uh, do, do you guys think like uh, Google sucks a little bit these days? I mean, I feel like there's definitely some sort of bloat or whatever going on with their company where they're just not as inventive. Um, I, I see commercials for like the cell phone for like their Pixel, Google Pixel. It's like the only phone engineered by Google or something like that. And honestly, that's like a detractor to me as a developer if I hear that. And I don't, I'm not a Google hater. I mean, I really like what Google's done, but you know, they bought YouTube, right? They had massive amounts of money because they were dealing with AdSense uh, and basically had a monopoly on any sort of digital advertising. And that was great. And it all started from just, you know, a better mousetrap, but they weren't the first search engine. Uh, they failed pretty miserably with like self-driving cars. They've missed the AI boat, uh, or at least they're behind on it anyway. Um, they weren't the ones to invest in open AI. It was Microsoft. It's Microsoft that's now larger than Google. And I guess they've been probably for a long time, but you look at somebody like Microsoft, right? They, they're trying to buy Activision Blizzard. I don't know if that went through or not. I think it did. Um, but they've also been involved in Xbox for a long time. So they're doing game development. Uh, they, they failed on the phone and the CEO of Microsoft mentions that, you know, the, the failure of getting in the mobile phone market, they probably shouldn't have abandoned the Microsoft phones, but they weren't very good and needed some more work. But there was a, a long time where Microsoft kind of sucked, right? But the, Microsoft has always been like the de facto operating system, whether they, you know, they sort of stole it themselves from the CPM and um, G Gary Kildall and all that stuff and, and the history of that and Bill Gates. And Bill Gates was obviously from a rich family, was a millionaire before Microsoft even became like a household name and all that. Right place, right time, I get it. Um, but all that said, uh, Google's search results are noticeably worse these days than than I, any time I can remember. And it just feels like there's some sort of bloat or rot going on where you get large to the point where like you don't really, I don't know what they do extremely well anymore. And it used to be search, but now like ChatGPT sort of provides more helpful stuff. And I find that if ChatGPT can't find the answer to my code, I sort of dread having to look through Google. Uh, an example of something like this is like, I don't like their trending searches or the, the searches that they recommend to me on my phone. That's that's one issue. Uh, I don't like the way that they're doing advertising anymore. There's a situation like if I'm looking at uh, Django 5 hacker news, I now get Django 5 because I've searched for it. But when I was searching for this, I was getting like older documents versus what was released three days ago. And that's just... It's not just with that, though. I'm noticing it all over the place. And an example of that would be uh, the Rockstar game trailer for GTA 6 that basically had the potential to smash records, but YouTube was too busy. YouTube slash Google was too busy, like, showing IGN on top of the actual Rockstar trailer, like, before the Rockstar trailer. So what I'm talking about here is that this actually was uh, in third place now as far as the most views ever on a YouTube video in a single day. And it basically, I think, ended the day right at 100 million or right below 100 million. But when I actually was like, oh, the Rockstar trailer came out and I was reading all this stuff about the leak and everything, I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. I'm interested in it. It's been 10 years since the last Grand Theft Auto game. This game's probably going to be pretty amazing. And I literally had a GameSpot and IGN listed ahead of the Rockstar official trailer. And I had to actually search again, Rockstar official GTA 6 trailer. And then it finally put it on top. Uh, and even then, I don't even know that it actually put it on top, but there was all this spam. And, and that just reminds me of how polluted and rotten this YouTube ecosystem is nowadays. Like it's worse than ever. If I ever game the YouTube system, I mean, I, I did, I created some clickbait and all that, but I, I didn't really do that full scale. But now I, I feel like the, the YouTube ecosystem is so rotten, man. Like if there's like new popular trailer or, um, you know, a movie or any news article, it's all this reaction garbage, man. And there's so many, I guess there's so many personalities out there that are getting absolutely massive amounts of views, but I know that it's YouTube actually picking the winners and the losers. Like you're not seeing actual raw talent on these reaction videos. 
and like the 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 personalities that are behind them are nothing special and i'm not trying to like crap on anybody but like they're just nothing special i've watched some of them and i'm like how is this person getting like half a million views in a couple of hours and i mean it, it's simply in my opinion it's a lot about youtube simply picking the winners and i don't trust the algorithm very much it's you know, and then you can build some artificial and in, um, interest in pretty much any content creator if you want it. Um, you know, PewDiePie or whatever was at the top for a long time. He's no longer Mr. Beast uh, is now like the king YouTuber. He does some great content. Obviously, there's probably an entire company behind that sort of uh, production. And then Linus Tech Tips and all that stuff. Like, there's a lot of I think talent behind those types of channels a lot of production value but some of these millions of views that you're getting like markiplier right i feel like he's got a very good uh creative personality a voice for it a look for it like he just he's 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 an entertainer right i guess what i'm trying to say is that there's a lot of content on youtube these days that are just not entertainers but still getting massive amounts of views and i don't really understand it but it just could be, I just could be getting old. I'm a boomer or something, I guess. I'm not a boomer at all, but somebody would call me that, I'm sure. If I do a Google search on is Google in decline, I'm reading a lot about it in the tech field. Um, and little things also, too, like when it comes to finding bugs, I'm finding that it's sometimes better to search through GitHub or search through Stack Overflow. And it's just not timely results anymore and then there's so many blogs that i get like even something if it's like hey i want to look up uh, a recipe i have to all i have to get so much blog spam to read a recipe like and they, like every like look up any recipe really it's literally half the content is it it's like pages of crap and it's all to satisfy Google's own rules. Like they created this rotten market that everybody's trying to, to game, to get listed in their search results. And I think a lot of that is what's going on with YouTube as well. And really, if there's one thing that used to work on YouTube is just simply creating a lot of content because Google will pick the winners and the losers. And the more content you have, the more likely whatever topic that might be is going to be what it is that they put as the flavor of the week give you a little attention for you know a couple weeks or whatever uh, but here you can see people are searching with tiktok and reddit and that's exactly what i do as well so if i'm looking for thread forums and like i want to get people discussing a topic i will search for something and then search reddit in the search so basically i'm telling google just give me reddit because any other garbage you're going to give me is not what i'm looking for um so yeah, that's that's about it, man. And then I think you know Google still excels when it comes to like local searching. So if I'm searching for a local business, it's pretty good at providing that. Uh, but other than that, I just fail to see where Google is excelling pretty much anywhere on any line of product that they're doing. And maybe I'm missing something, but I'm curious to to hear from the audience if anybody could comment, let me know. I, I'm I'm really curious what you think. But uh, to me, I just don't see it nearly uh it's not nearly as important in my life as it used to be if you're learning to code i recommend you check out my website codehawk.com my courses are fast to the point without the fluff that you'll find on other competitor sites like plural site and udemy one of the reasons why you'll want to learn with me is that i'm a self-taught engineer myself i never went to school for any of this stuff i've been doing it for over a decade now professionally the biggest reason you should use codehawk is that it's one price for everything i try to make this as affordable as possible instead of having to purchase 15 to 20 different courses on udemy or an expensive monthly subscription to plural site it's one price for everything on codehawk front end back end full stack it has courses on all the latest web development technology the courses range from beginner to advanced. So if you want to learn the latest web technology, give CodeHawk a look. There's demos for all of the courses that are out there right now. Uh, in addition, there's also my personal vlogs, which I'll be adding more to. So content that I don't release to YouTube is available on CodeHawk.